we're asked to combine these three fractions. Um, and when we look at them, we notice they have unlike denominators. So our first job, as with any fractions, is to find a least common denominator. So when I look at this, I'm going to start here, and I can see I have three denominators. So the first one, I'm going to start building my LCD. Okay, I need a three. Cool. Second one, oh, I need an X plus five. Then I need an X minus five, because I need one of each, right? If this was three, four, five, I'd need a three, a four, and a five. Now, if there was both pieces there, say this middle one had three times X plus five, I wouldn't need to repeat the three. I don't need to repeat anything. I do need one piece of each. Then I'm going to go to each one. I'm going to go, what's it missing out of this LCD? Well, in this case, it's missing both of these. So I'm going to times this by x plus 5, x minus 5, top and bottom. Okay? Then in this next one, same thing. I ask myself, what's this LCD missing? Well, it's missing a 3, right? Um, so let's see if I can get this. Cool. So it's missing this three, and it's also missing this one here. So I have to then times this by x minus five. So then this is three, x minus five. And then this last one, oh, it's a minus. What's this missing? Well, in this case, it's now still missing the three, but this one's missing the x plus 5. So I'm going to go 3 times x plus 5, 3 x plus 5. Now you could do this one at a time if you wanted. You could do it all like this. It kind of just depends. Then I'm going to go through and in this top I'm going to get 2 x plus 5 x minus 5. And then I have over here 3. Okay, let's see here. Actually, I've got two 3s, right? So I have this is all over my whole LCD. And then here I have 9 times x minus 5 all over this whole LCD, minus 6 times x plus 5 over the whole LCD. Okay. Now our next step is going to be to combine these. So I'm going to have 2. And I'm going to FOIL here, so I'm going to get x squared. Oh, that middle's going to fall out. That's nice, right? Times 25 plus 9 x minus 5 minus 6 x plus 5, all over this big LCD, right? Okay. Now I just want to see if I, what cleanup I can do here. So I'm going to distribute. So x squared minus 25 plus 9x minus 45. Now here, be really careful with the sign. Negative 6x minus 30 because it goes to both sign and all. It's really easy to lose a sign there. So really, really pay attention to that. That's probably the single biggest mistake I see. And it's not that everyone doesn't know it, it's just it's easy to forget. Okay, so I only have one of these. Then I'm going to look, oh, I have two of these, so I can turn this into a 3x. And then here, let's see, what do I got? Well, these all can go together, right? So this is 60, 70, so this is minus 100, all over 3x plus 5x minus 5. And then here's my final answer. So, and because we're not factoring, we would stop here. We wouldn't check to see if it, it factors or anything. And this would be your final answer. Now, I don't actually know off the top of my head if it does or not. Um, I would have to check. So, hopefully this helps you. These can be, get a little messy. Just make sure you take your time and you write them out.